Greetings, Campbell soccer fans. My name is Zach Burley. I'm on the touchline here at the beautiful Eeks Athletic Complex with Campbell men's soccer player Thibaut Jiguel. Thibaut, thank you for being here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You grew up, of course, in Strasbourg, France. So what, what was that like as a kid? It was very different from here. Mm. The life was very different. First of all, the weather, all the buildings, everything around. And also about soccer, like because soccer is more like a religion in Europe. When it's here, it's like a random sport. Yeah, it's very different. But I loved, I loved to grow up in a, in Europe. Do you remember when the first time you kicked a ball was? Oh, I think when I walked. <laughs> when I walked, since I walked, my dad used to be a professional player, so I just follow him every practice, every time, and then I start kicking the ball with him. Do you remember uh, whenever the first time that? you know, you really thought you loved soccer, you really wanted to go and do this professionally? I think I always wanted to be professional. It has always been like a dream. Now it's more, it's not a dream anymore. It's more like an objective. Yeah. But I think, um, yeah, when I was young, I was watching games in, in the TV and I was like, yeah, I want to do that. What went into your decision to come to America? What was that like and what was the difficulties of it? The decision has been when I have been fired from my professional club. So I was not very good in my feelings, I was very unhappy. But then it looks like it was a second chance for me, for soccer, but also I could keep going with class and get a bachelor and everything. So I just say yes, right after it. And so what was that transition like, having to come to a, a country that you had never been to before, the language, what was, what was that transition like? It was kind of difficult at the start. It was difficult because of course the language is very different. My English wasn't as fluently as it is now. And I got some trouble just to talk with everybody sometimes. There's a lot of different accents here in Campbell. Especially in the soccer team, we have people from England, Australia, uh, everywhere in Europe. So yeah, I think it was pretty hard, but I adapted myself pretty good. And I got the chance to get uh, good coaches, good teammates that helped me a lot. And they have been very patient with me. So one of the big ones that you had to adjust to is the climate. What's it been like being in this hot, humid southern climate compared to France? It's, it's still hard. It's still hard sometimes. I can see the difference. And uh, like two, two other French guys came this year and they just have told me a couple of times, man, it's very hot. <laughs> it's very hot here. So now I used to play in, under this weather, but it's still hot sometimes. So you, you mentioned some of the other internationals that you have here from around the world and from Europe. Has that made it easier to fit in here? Yes, it made it very easier because I think we are everybody on the same page. We all have to adapt ourselves to a new country, to a new life, a new life, the college life. So it's make things very easier and sometimes like with the French boys. We can talk French and it shows a lot on the field and outside of it too. So now, of course, you mentioned having Momo and, and Basafi as well this year. They're brand new. Has, has that helped you fit in or do you think you've helped them fit in more? Uh, I think I helped them more because um, everything about adaptation, I went through it. So I can just teach them what they, what they should do and what they shouldn't do. But they helped me too because now I feel more confident. Last year, of course, you got to win the Big South title. What was that whole run through the postseason like? It was just crazy. It was just crazy. Everybody was on the same page. We won the, the Big South title on Gideon's goals. It was very, very good. And I, I think I've never got a feeling like, like that, like accomplishment. It's crazy. And then, of course, you got to go on to the NCAA tournament, though, and then play a team like NC State. Did you just get a little bit of a taste that made you want more? Yes, exactly. It was like just a taste and this year we just like, yeah, we want to go in the, nation, in the national tournament. Our objective is to win the Big South, of course, but why not make a run and we want to go and just play it. Now, do you have any uh, favorite moments here? Maybe what's your favorite goal that you scored while being here? Uh, I think it was the goal against um, Upstate last year. It was the first one I scored in America, for sure. And I saw like everybody was proud, proud of me and proud of what I did. And it was like pretty good goal, it was goal from 40 yards, so <laughs> it was kind of funny. How about your favorite moment, whether it be with the team or something you've seen another player do? I think it was the celebration of the title. I think the celebration of the title was just crazy, everybody was on the same page, everybody was just having fun. It was very good. Yeah, I got to be there as well, that was a ton of fun, getting to see you guys celebrate that. What's the soccer dream after college? Where, where do you really want to see yourself? 
Uh, we'd like to play professional in America. That's why I've been here at first, but also for school. But I think, yeah, I would like to be professional. Now, uh, imagine for me that everyone that's ever helped you get here, everyone that's taught you, everyone that's coached you, whether it be family or friends, imagine they were watching. Uh, what would you want to say to them right now? I would just say thank you. Thank you. I got some great moments, I got some bad moments. Sometimes I've been very happy, very proud. Sometimes I've been unconfident, I've been sad or mad. But I just want to say thank you to everybody and they helped me to getting better to be who I am now. So I just want to say thank you. Well, I want to say thank you, Tebow. It's been a lot of fun getting to speak with you. And for, for everyone at home, make sure you tune into all of our games on ESPN Plus or the Campbell Digital Network. I'm Zach Burley. This is Tebow Jiquel, and we hope to see you very soon.